my beloved, my friends, earnest blessings from my heart unto thee, for you are the most holy, sacred part of who I am. And so now we come here together to enter a force field in which we will develop together the spiraling currents of the ascension, which is brought forth by the directed energy towards the enlightenment for not just myself, but for all students and all humanity across the world, which will come in the form of wisdom, and this wisdom is all brought forth by the one God and the great central sun and the great I am presence. And so we are here today and we have this breath. We have choice to enter unto the way in which brings forth everlasting joy and we have the path that continues that karmic momentum that we have built through our embodiments and yes embodiments we have had this is the new education the new Bible that we are creating from our I Am Presence and from the Brotherhood of Light. And we start right now. There has been assistance of different groups of providing the different elements to create this Bible. But as the cycles, the evolutions, as the energy is directed onto this planet. Everything changes, and this goes with the laws of the cosmos. cycles and the omega, the ending of the cycles. Many of you probably have not heard of the teachings in depth of the I Am Presence and that is why I am here. mighty God presence that lays upon your heart to release what you already know but just have turned away from this light that has been brought forth presence in you, always streaming through you and around you, and this presence
presence knows no limitation and it is the very source in which you have the power to direct its mighty life unto the conditions of discord that rain upon the news, that rain upon your thoughts and your feelings when you are in, in hatred or when you are in total fear from the seeming lack of certain things you may have to go on in this life. This presence, the I Am Presence, and the Brotherhood of Light, the Ascended Masters, the Archangels and Angels, the Elohim, who of which are the builders of this planet, are at our call, and they are at our very side every moment. For you to pour forth a sincere heart, dynamic release from your heart unto all of them to transform this world from the perfection it was millions of years ago. Civilizations have fallen and risen to its apex and to its depth of depravity. And this is all due from our choices, from our thoughts and feelings that come through our every in-breath and out-breath, every moment of the day. And so, and for standing firm in this path which leads to not only your ascension but the ascension for all life. People, if they continue choosing not to participate, not to help life from the smallest little creature to the largest being in the universe. If we do not seek to better the lives of all of life, Then, our opportunity at this planet, this schoolroom, will no longer be given to us. And we will have to move on to another focus, another schoolroom, in which we can master energy. So much rubbish that is talked about of cosmic law and how things are working, orchestrating in the universe. And these sources on the internet must be recognized as what they truly are. you with. But so many of these sources, they are limiting the fulfilling of the divine plan for certain life streams, individuals, if I may. 
from taking advantage of what is being given to us right now, which has not been given in so many eons. That is why I am here. understand right now what we must do to truly bring forth the Christ consciousness, the presence of the Christ through us to our affairs that we are in every day. We must seek to bring forth this mighty God in us unto the life wherever we go, otherwise the entire planet will continue to look the way it is right here, just overly abundant with desecration, and this is not truly what we want. We all wish to see beautiful birds, forests, streams, but this starts once you realize that met much of humanity and of the students and those who are coming to be students through awakening must realize that much of what has been put forth brought forth through all of us, has been misqualified. In other words, been focused and radiated out in a manner of destruction. We must look at the details of education, of entertainment, of government, which is truly in its perfected state, it is those individuals upon this planetary body who have realized who they are and have put forth this very presence, their identity of God, which is the truth of existence of how everything is founded and continually kept living, it is those beings that anchor this light and of the light of the Brotherhood of Light, in which I have just told you, through them, by calling upon their presence, by t studying the teachings of the Masters and by knowing that this presence is the government, it is the control of all life, and yet the outer appearances of this world, you may say, oh, I am a foolish person, but truly look at the lives of the billions of people. Their consistent striving to want a more fulfilled life, more joy, some thing to possess their attention, for them to be living in 
what is so-called happiness and which is really illusion. We must recognize the details of how the masses are living and why. Surely when you know that your power, your life, the God presence of your being and the host are waiting for you to begin walking this path, to completely shift these momentums that the masses have built through suggestion and influences that are not from God. And these influences and suggestions are not seen by the physical eye when you are in its total vibration. But when you are in God and you come to a state of certain attainment and attunement, you will recognize the unseen and the seen energetic forces that are at play through the cities through any aspect of your affairs in which a person interacts with another or your very being. And the word choice that, choices that they use, the tones that they use, the focus of their eyes, and the vibration from their heart all through discernment will tell you the choices that need to be met. Otherwise, these actions of imperfection, discordancy of the mortal consciousness, will continue to play on upon the forces of this planet. But just know that I love you and you have my love just by the very essence of your living being being here. The constant stream of your God presence unto you is the surging forth of every quality that is of goodness unto you every second of the day and by your mere attention your focus upon this glorious source you merge with all of these qualities these virtues and you need not seek outer things to be anchored upon by your attention. Many times it is the memory of an experience that draws back the feeling unto the ways of destruction that no one truly by the very core of their being wants these things to happen. But through this path you learn the ways and means of having these memories be no more ever again. By the use of sacred fire, the certain sciences and ways by which this fire orchestrates through your electrons and atoms. And so, we grasp divine love upon our initiation and pursuit. reality of this path of God. The essence of this God awareness through stepping onto this path expands beyond the concepts that have been brought forth through many of the teachers of the outer world. 
and this awareness infuses the etheric universal energy onto your being. So you need not think of a human creation to make you smarter, more intelligent, but by the way and means of you coming into this etheric substance, which is all around you, in you, of the many beings that are waiting as I have spoken. The wisdom, which is the right use of intellect, the intelligence, is a, is a secondary action that comes just by you stepping on this path from divine love, knowing that this path brings forth the fruit of perfection, the fruit of love, but the elements of nature, the very beings of the many families upon this planet. And so now, beloved, now, So your I am presence, your God presence, and the hosts direct their energy all through your Holy Christ presence, which is the intermediary. And I won't go into the details, but this Christ presence determines the percentages of the radiation that is brought onto your cellular structure, your being. And it's all done through the mind of God, because if it was not, many people would not be here, and such light would bring people out of their very physical garments that they wear, because there must be a certain expansion within the individual in order to receive a certain amount of light. God always forgives. God is always the force in which never, ever acts upon any quality of hate and criticism. And so, everything that you have done or that you continue to do is not something that will be struck down upon in a manner of direct opposition to your divine plan. There are cases in which there are individuals upon this planetary body have directed their energy unto certain conditions and life forms of individuals that have been reversed out of their physical garments and reversed their anger, their direct force of energy that they were emitting, and 
interfered with a karmic law or the fulfilling of the divine plan for many other individuals and thus the I Am Presence, the host of heaven, have interceded time and time again. But now we are at the point where so many individuals are continuing the downward spirals of the karmic law. But many are not, as I said, being allowed to enter the schoolroom of earth. Too much of this negativity that is brought forth in radiation directed toward the students, that which is of the focusing of imperfection, does no help. And these are part of the sources that are on the internet and communities worldwide. masquerading as the host of heaven. And so, with enough di divine love, with enough directing intelligence from your God presence, surely you will be brought forth into the perfect source in which you know require to not only step into but pursue with great determination, the teachings of this path. God is upon us all. And just know, dear ones, that the love is within you. must want that love so much that no outer thing besides the host of heaven and your great God presence which is within you can interfere with it surging forth piercing every cell the very vibration of a burning sense of overwhelming joy and all the virtues of God just out to all life you bring it through by your direct choices and your focuses that God where you are is brought forth beings of the hosts of heaven, their love is not conceived by the mind, but when we raise our consciousness upon this path we can recognize and receive more and more of this love that is just endless to have for us and all of creation. And the reason being is that you are a part of them. In the great reality of everything, the center of the universe, we are all one. Extended out here where you are. Different planets as an aspect to express this love that we all have, individually and collectively as one, to love each other, to build art together, to dance,
and sing and be at peace with the everlasting peace that is everywhere. It is immortal, it is eternal, and it is bliss, joy, and happiness all together. It's just when you recognize this, when you step under the path and study and apply, you know what everything truly is. The details of cosmic law and the various laws of the universe will come into knowing by your expansion, as I have said. The humor has been perverted onto this world in a way and means of hurting others and have been designated to grasp the attention of others away from God. And so you may have my humor that we have in oneness together right now. It is a dance of joy that we already know when we come into this way of life. And then we begin to play. A surely playing is the pursuit and it's the very action of our destiny of eternal nature and I wish you all a glorious Sunday because today today's Thursday in which the name of Thurs has no real meaning, but the day is always based upon the etheric principle of who we are, the sun and the electrons, the white fire core, which I will not go into now, but it is the sun, everything is based upon the sun, the physical sun, the micro sun, and the macro sun upon the center of the universe. And so, we rejoice now on this Sunday that is eternal. And by the conception of the human consciousness, the days 